Hi, this is Brent and a video update on the latest edition from Subaru. Now this is the Subaru Impreza WRX RS40. Typical Subaru in Australia bring out a limited edition model at the end of the model year and of course this is the end of the final production run for this model. It actually ceased production not so long ago in anticipation of the current model being produced in Japan for worldwide distribution which is the model looks like a Evo 10. Um, it's got the new 2 litre direct injection engine. So this particular model is a limited number sold here in Australia. comes with a host of um, extra features to make it a limited edition model, but from a performance and a mechanical point of view and suspension, it's really pretty much the same as the WRX. A lot of people are asking about can we tune the factory ECU, well yes, ECU is nearly identical um, from our point of view with custom tuning for XA, XB and XC power kits, which you can get off our um, power kit details on our website car doing a dyno run in the background so I'll keep my voice up. Um, so I want to just going to show you a bit of a walk around on some of the things which is the final viewing of the last model before we go to the new model being this RS40. Um, and by the way I reckon this is one of the best models Subaru ever made. Comes with the um, uh, flexible tower brace from SDI. Um, the difference between the WRX and the current model SDI being the 2.5 litre um, port injection engine, not direct injection engine, is plastic inlet manifold with a side entry butterfly which is down under here. The STI model you'll recognise has got um, a similar layout but it's got an aluminium uh, red powder coated inlet manifold with obviously more grunt and more features. Um, some of the things to be aware of from a maintenance point of view, there's some changes along the way. The cars are reliable, typically the turbos are fairly bulletproof, really good opportunity to get some reliable upgrades from a performance point of view. Um, this limited edition model comes with different alloy wheels. The brakes um, and the um, pads and calipers are all identical to the WRX. Um, but the thing that really makes this unique is the Recaro seats. I think it comes factory standard with STI floor mats, but that may have been an option that the customer fitted himself. The rest of the interior is standard, but if you're looking for a fantastic upgrade, those seats really make a big difference. Effectively, almost identical to what came out in the... Uh, optional upgrade of the STI model here in Australia. Uh, slightly, and again on the back, wheels of course matching the front, pretty obvious there. Um, the calipers and everything on these models are pretty common these days, so if you're looking for variations on aftermarket options you can get those. Slightly different wing with the RS40 badges. I don't think this car, oh they do, they come, there's three, that's right, this one is a limited edition number of 300. I won't show you the number in the car because we won't want to allow the people to identify it because the customers want us to keep a little bit of secret sometimes, but it does have limited edition numbers. And of course across the back, being a normal WRX comes out with a quad outlet mufflers. Now one thing I do want to point out just on that subject, you'll notice how the muffler is set in a fair way here. There's a bit of a variation in the way these cars are produced from the previous models to make them sound a little bit better, but if you do a modification with the exhaust system, make sure you match it with a modified and tuned factory ECU, but check the clearance and the position of these outlet pipes because they have a big effect on the soot build up but the clearance is important as well because we've seen some situations where people haven't fitted aftermarket exhaust properly and it's actually melted the rear plastic bumper bar. Um, other than that, being an Australian delivered car, these WRXs with a 2.5 litre engine, you need to sensibly consider how you modify them. Just from an ECU custom tuning point of view, there is a great opportunity to get anywhere between 15 and 25 kilowatts reliably out the wheels depending on back-to-back -back comparisons running it on 98 octane fuel and um, with these cars we can also now do flex fuel upgrade with uh, the need of having to change maps you can put E85 in the car and the ECU will automatically adjust itself do a search on our video channel here for MRT performance and uh, flex fuel or E85 and you'll find a lot more info about that for now Subaru limited edition the RS40 final production run before we get the new model this year I um, hope this has just given you a little bit of update on what you can look for when you're looking for something here in Australia. For more information about these models, you can go to the drop-down menu on our website and uh, go to the dyno section or click on performance section. And of course, follow us here, make some comments, because no matter where you are in the world, um, your feedback helps us to solve what to do with these video updates. And I hope this one has helped you wherever you are. And on behalf of MRT here in Sydney, Australia, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.